Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and what? No, please remember to flip and switch the roles. I could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also, remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, okay? So let's see, Gemini. Let's see what's coming towards you. Let's see what the messages are. What is coming towards my lovely Gem Gems? What do they need to know at this time, Spirit? What is coming towards Gemini? What is coming towards Gemini? So bottom of the deck, we have haunted memories, flashbacks, trauma, and side effects. Okay. So somebody's getting their ass whooped by spirit, basically, is what I'm getting. <laughs> like, let me fix my camera real quick. Okay. Somebody's getting their ass whooped by spirit because it's something that they did. Okay. Um, let's see what else is coming in for Gemini. Somebody can't sleep. They're having nightmares and shit. What else? What else for Gemini spirit? So we have moving on. Thank you, next. Yeah, and I feel like you don't care either. <laughs> you don't care. I wouldn't either. Yeah, love story, once upon a time. So definitely falling in love here. Let's see what else. Okay, we have brainstorming. <clears throat> Ideas, problem solving, figuring shit out. Okay. You could be dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. We have reflecting, bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody, somebody's looking back over the shit that they did, really. And you've moved on or you're going towards somebody new. Could be dealing with the Leo. I just saw the sun. Okay, so let's see. Well, of course, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Or Leo, like I said. So let's see. <laughs> Excuse me. What is this haunted card right here for Gemini? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah. So somebody lost their own fucking game. Whatever this is that they did, they lost at it. They completely stabbed you in the back. They betrayed you one too many times. Yeah, and I'm definitely getting you're seeing the truth about a situation. Or you're going through some type of breakthrough. You're definitely going through some type of breakthrough here. But something here is definitely over. Some of you guys could be going through a divorce. Definitely could have been a lot of gossip. Whatever the betrayal was, it's backfiring on somebody. Because now they're looking dumb as hell. But what is this haunted card? <laughs> What's the haunted card? Somebody could be watching you or stalking you here. Yeah, Knight of Wands. So somebody here could be haunted by their damn, yeah, wanting to have options, choosing somebody over you or trying to cause you confusion in a sense. Um, Knight of Wands is in and out energy. is non-committal energy. I feel like, though, with the Knight of Wands, too, this is confidence. This is having the courage to break free from something. So I'm definitely getting you're moving away from something, most definitely. But somebody could be haunted by the fact that they've been in and out and non-committal and not giving you what you deserve the first go-around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's see. What else we're haunted with the Knight of Wands? Yeah, the Seven of Cups wanted to come out. So, yeah. Somebody here could be definitely uh, kind of like arrogant. They could be kind of cocky in a sense, very egotistical possibly. Sometimes I get that with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person wanted to have options or either that or they just are delusional. They wanted to kind of trick you or cause you confusion yeah justice is here though you could be dealing with the libra told you another air sign or aquarius or gemini another gemini but yeah something is backfiring because karma is here what else for haunted with the seven of cups and the knight of wands yeah the will of fortune <laughs> if it wasn't the justice card it was damn sure the will of fortune huh but definitely yeah things are. i feel like things are turning in your favor here you could have more opportunities being becoming more available to you now in a certain area of your life, uh, Gemini, or more doors and opportunities are opening up for you. But yeah, yeah, things are turning in your favor. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah, this is this is karma. <laughs> this is karma. Good fortune, good blessings is coming in for you though. So good karma is. You know, it's time to pay up. It's things. It's time for things to be repaid and balanced out how they're supposed to be. You know, what's this Knight of Wands? 
Okay, yeah, Six of Swords. Yeah, that's you moving on. I, I'm definitely getting you're breaking free from something. You feel more free. You feel more rejuvenated or energetic or it's coming back in. If you felt a certain type of way, like you were low on energy, I feel like you're going to be having more fun. Maybe uh, just, I don't know, you're just not under control of somebody else's shit no more. Whatever this was in the in your past, I feel like you're breaking free from it. You're being spiritually led at this time. You're, you're being guided to move away. Some of you guys are being guided to relocate. Okay, go somewhere else. This could be a vacation coming in. But I'm definitely getting you're moving away from any bullshit here. Six of Swords is you finding a peaceful resolution to an issue. And I feel like that's for you moving away. That's the resolution. <laughs> you being guided to move on. Go towards peace and harmony. You know. What is this Seven of Cups? Oh, the Queen of Cups came out in reverse. Is that supposed to be in reverse? I don't know, but they asked flipped out in reverse though. So that's an omen, I'm, I'm guessing. So um, the Queen of Cups in reverse could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. I'm definitely getting... Um, somebody's like emotionally manipulative. This could be a man or a woman. Doesn't have to be a woman just because it's a woman on the card. It could be anybody. But somebody was definitely emotionally manipulative, uh, emotionally unavailable as well. This person doesn't know how to control their emotions. I feel like you were giving a lot to this person. You don't trust someone's ass no more. There could be a lot of options in front of you that you just don't trust. You're not sure. Your emotions are... I feel like your emotions are all over the place. You're confused. You feel lost or you're not trusting something that you're seeing. Your intuition could be blocked or somebody could have tried to block your intuition here. Or this is they ass. Their intuition is blo uh, being blocked. This is this could be repressed emotions as well as overgiving. Somebody's like overly sensitive or overgiving. Let's see. What is this? Because the Queen of Cups, alternatively, it could mean that um in reverse, somebody's very vindictive or spiteful. And it's, it could be backfiring. Now they're the ones confused. They don't have their gifts that they had before. That shit is that shit is over with. What's the seven of cups with this? Well, what's this Queen of Cups in reverse? Spirit. Okay, yeah, the high priestess. Okay. Yeah. So either this is somebody that's very vindictive, very spiteful. They thought that they can like do this shit to you, whatever they tried to do. You're being unblocked from it and you're moving forward. You feel free. Like you feel different than you than you normally would or something like that. You just feel different. And this person, whatever this is, is backfiring. I feel like they're a bit delusional because I feel like they're blocked from their intuition but they feel like whatever they're doing is something that their intuition is telling them to do but it's not it could be dark entities or dark something dark attached to this person that could be telling them to do certain things and it's not they don't need to be doing it but they're like delusional they are delusional um i'm also getting if this is you if you're all over the place with your emotions or having a hard time trusting certain opportunities coming in for you definitely sit still and listen to your intuition okay uh because you could be like overgiving to the point where you're confused or lost or this is just you like misjudging your fears and anxieties and shit like that for your intuition. So just be mindful. This could, this high priest could also represent this person has held a lot of secrets. They've been, I don't know, they've been tampering with your energy in a way. What's this queen of cups in reverse? Let's do some more. You could be dealing with the cancer Pisces. Somebody's a water sign. Okay, yeah, five of wands. So competition, fighting, arguing. Yeah, there's like conflict going on around you, which could be confusing you or throwing you the fuck off. Oh, this is what this person is dealing with because of what they try to do to your ass. So, yeah, the death card, something is over. And you're going towards new. Ace of Cups, yeah, the moon. Somebody is like very competitive, very vindictive and spiteful. This person is nasty. They're, they... Something is wrong with their ass. They could even be pregnant. Whoever this is is pregnant, possibly, for some of you. What's this high priestess? I feel like you know somebody. Yeah, the king of pentacles. So this king of pentacles is a high priestess. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I feel like you know that somebody here is like in competition with you or whoever this is that put you in competition. You know about them. You just know about shit. I'm getting. Some of you guys are trying to birth a new project of yours. A new business could be coming to life. Okay. Um, I'm also getting, if you're a masculine here, if you're a man, this woman puts you in some type of conflict with somebody else. 
And they could be pregnant. Okay. Uh, I'm getting a lot. I'm getting too much, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, somebody. Okay, so somebody here is a fake ass high priestess. Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody is really out of tune with their emotions. They're very spiteful. This person is very codependent, too. They're very needy. They're clingy. Okay, there's like some argument and shit going on with this person. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's somebody else's ass. And I feel like you know about what's going on intuitively. Your intuition is just telling you what's going on, what's happening. Somebody could be all over the place too because they're pregnant. I just keep seeing that. But I'm also getting, you are the real high priestess. This high priestess with uh, showing with this king of pentacles, this person is being blocked. Their, their spiritual gifts is being taken away and yours is being increased or you're getting yours back. Cause I'm getting it was uh, it was blocked or something like that before, and now you're you're back in action. I'm just getting <laughs> something like that is happening. This where this person tried to cause you conflict and try to like trick you into doing certain things or set you up or whatever, trying to play mind games with you. I feel like it's backfiring. You're moving on. You're breaking free. Whether you're a man or woman doesn't matter. You're breaking free here. You're standing in your masculine energy if you're a woman. Yeah, yeah but what's this wheel of fortune? We all have masculine and feminine energies, but sometimes we have to be more masculine than feminine. You know what I'm saying? But you guys know how to balance it out. What's this Wheel of Fortune? Okay, yeah, Karma. Four of Cups. There is upheaval and chaos. The Wheel of Fortune is upheaval, chaos, and shit like that. I feel like somebody's very discontent because the universe is not on their side. It's on your side or something like that. Something is, the will is turning in your favor, and they're mad about it. Somebody's, like, upset. They're, they're just doing the fucking most. I feel like somebody's very apathetic, very discontent with the, the outcome of a situation, okay? Four of Cups is like a stalemate. Something is on hold for somebody else, and something is turning for you. And they know it. this is their karma. They know it, too. They definitely know it. Who is King of Pentacles? Okay, yeah, Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Then we have the King of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Devil. Hmm. There's a lot of people here already. So this King of Pentacles right here could be trying to save money. They could be trying to get their stability in order or, or in check here. This person could be married to this Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody that's like spiteful and shit like that. They're being haunted while you're being set free. <laughs> if you're working on your finance, I feel like you're moving forward. But they, they feel like they need to be loyal or to a situation that's not treating them right. This person is like, they have a mental disorder. Something is wrong with them and they're emotionally abusive possibly. They run guilt trips on this person for trying to walk away. Their intuition is telling them to do this, though. With the high priestess, yeah. I feel like somebody's trying to pull back their energy from someone. I feel like this person, if they put you in a third party, they're trying to hold on to you. Four of Pentacles, they're holding on to you. They're not letting you go because they know that you're very valuable. Okay, they, they don't want to let you go. But somebody in their energy is like very greedy, very possessive, and, and obsessive here. Somebody is holding on to somebody for financial reasons. Yeah. Hmm. What's this moving on? Thank you. Next. Okay. Four of swords in reverse, the fool and the two of cups. Yeah. So some of you guys are finding that mental strength again to step out and take risk. Okay. Some of you guys are in a new relationship that seems risky for you, but I feel like you're going to do it. I feel like this is a very fun relationship. It's risky, obviously, because you don't want to get your heart broken, but there is love here. Four swords in reverse is you finding that mental strength again. You ready to rejoin the world. You ready to like put yourself back out there. Okay. And you're breaking free from somebody's ass. Could be an Aquarius uh, or Aries that you're leaving behind here. Yeah. I mean, not that you're leaving behind, but or something like that. You could be a, a Aquarius or Aries cross, cross watcher for Gemini. But, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. So. Four swords, yeah, you're getting up and you're doing something about a situation. You're seizing new opportunities, seizing the moment here. You're, I feel like you're going towards a beautiful relationship. And you feel free. You feel liberated. You feel unbothered. <laughs> Just period. Ready for a new beginning. Ready to start fresh, start new. What's the fool? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yeah, something is taking off really quickly. You're experiencing a lot of big changes as well. Knight of Swords is big changes. Seizing an opportunity. Something is moving fast. 
this could be an air sign yeah aquarius libra gemini that you could be dating right now for some of you it doesn't have to be but yeah this is definitely some type of breakthrough this is somebody here they could be this person this new person that you could be dating or that you're in a relationship with they could be quite impulsive they could be younger than you so they i don't know but i feel like you're enjoying the relationship though is what i'm getting <laughs> like you moved on or you've maybe found somebody that's going to take action i feel like this person is very assertive they're very courageous and bold okay they're a leader this is a leader just like you knight of swords is a leader okay so yeah this is four swords in reverse Okay, yeah, something here ended horribly. Something here ended horribly. Everything is fine. That's the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody is overly stressed. With the Four of Swords in reverse, somebody is like going through mental problems. They are tripping because you've moved on. You're not thinking about their ass no more. You could be saying 444. Yeah, you, you're not, you don't see this person like you used to. So you've moved on, just period. This person stabbed you in the back one too many damn times. And I feel like you're trying to move on from this betrayal or this hurt, this pain. Could have been a lot of mental abuse too or emotional abuse that somebody was going through. Yeah, Ace of Swords, so the truth. Yeah. What's this Two of Cups? I feel like this person is trying to come back too though. Yeah, the Sun with the Strength card. Yeah, so a strong partnership, a strong soulmate connection. Leo, strong Leo energy. Somebody could have Leo in their chart, could be a Libra. But somebody here is really um happy in their relationship. Or this is a relationship that's helping you heal. It's making you happy right now. I feel like you're embracing the moment. You're like, you know, you're moved on. You're not, you're not really too caught up on whatever this is from your past. Or if you were, I feel like you're healing from it. Yeah, but there's a strong connection here. I feel like this connection builds you up. You build that person up. They do the same. I feel like whoever you're dating is very confident. Okay, very strong person. This person, they bring like this fun energy out of you. They're very spontaneous. They're very different as well as what I'm getting. Okay, beware of pregnancy because you could be um, getting pregnant. It's going to be one that sticks too. <laughs> the baby going to stick, honey. It's going to be a strong baby. Okay, period. But yeah, this is nice. And I feel like, yeah, it's going to take off pretty quickly. You know, this is the beginning of your love story. You deserve it. <clears throat> I'm definitely getting also somebody here realizes that you're their happiness, but now they're stuck. They're being haunted by somebody that they cannot get rid of. Somebody that they possibly chose over you or try to put against you in some shape, form, or fashion. They ass is arguing with this person. This person is emotionally manipulative. They're abusive and all type of shit. And they ass is stuck with them because that's what they chose. When they had a chance to get out of it, they didn't take it, you know? And I guess, you know, it is what the fuck it is, man. But I'm definitely getting your happiness is here in this relationship, whatever this is. Or somebody sees you as their happiness. So what is this love story? Once upon a time. <clears throat> Seven of Wands in reverse. King of Wands in the world. So I'm definitely getting with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody feels defeated. Somebody feels very weak. Okay. This person, they're they're stuck in love with you. They want to finish this love story with you, but they they fucked it up. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're closing out a cycle with. Doesn't have to be. But the cycle here is closed. It's completed. You successfully completed something. You close it out. Okay. And I don't know. Now I feel like somebody wants to take action. King of Wands is somebody that takes action. This this could be somebody that's um that was kind of arrogant. Yeah, I'm just, just getting like an arrogance or cockiness with this person or they were too stuck in their ego, you know? And I feel like, yeah, you're planning for your future. You made a decision to go towards new, the judgment, two of wands and the ace of cups. Okay, I feel like you made a decision to forgive your past and look forward to your future. Okay, for some of you, this is somebody from your past that wants your forgiveness. They're planning to come back because they're in love with you. Okay, it could be both ways, but a lot of you guys are choosing new, okay? But I feel like this person here, they feel defeated. They're lacking confidence here. They they really folded on this relationship. They folded on what they believed in when it came down to you and them. They definitely did. They left you hanging here. You know, this person is kind of cowardly. What is what is the seven of wands in reverse, man? You guys could be seeing seven, seven, seven. Seven of wands in reverse. 
yeah, the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. <clears throat> Somebody here is lazy. I just got lazy. Somebody here doesn't want to like put in the work or do what they have to do to get you back correctly. You know, what's the seven of wands in reverse with this magician? Yeah, the emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. This person is very weak. I feel like they're a coward. Whoever this is, man, this could be your baby daddy or your baby mother. Or whoever the fuck. I feel like they I feel like I'm getting a lot of messages. <laughs> This person is very weak compared to your new person. They're nothing like this new person that's going to come in. Yeah, somebody's like giving up or giving in or they're admitting defeat or... And this is somebody that you can't compromise with. It's like somebody's like burnt out. They're exhausted. They're tired of trying to do this here. So I feel like they're just going to give up, okay? As they should. Like stand down, go somewhere else and do this fuck shit somewhere else. I feel like you've lost all respect for somebody. You don't give a fuck about somebody no more. This could be somebody also. Yeah, it's just time for them to kind of like um, give in. What is this magician? Because I feel like this person wants to have more power over you, but now they're realizing you're more powerful than them. They don't like feeling defeated. They don't like feeling uh, like somebody's better than them. They're, they're very much so in competition with you. This could be a man or it could be a woman. But let's see, what is the magician? Okay, the Ace of Cups fell out in reverse. So yeah, this is not coming back together. Ace of Cups in reverse is unrequited love. You know, I feel like they try to manifest you. They use all their tools to manifest you back or something like that. And I feel like you took your power back. This person is very much so heartbroken. They're hurt that you don't want to be with them anymore. You broke up with them. This is a cancel celebration, something you called off. Okay, or you found out that this person was like this or they're a pussy asshole. So you called this shit off with them. You don't want to be with their ass no more. Just period. Yeah, it could be a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, you wisened up. You matured. I feel like you've outgrown this person with this hermit. You don't. You don't want to be bothered with their ass. Yeah, you could be involved with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This could be a past life soulmate here that you're having fun with. Okay, you could have a child with this person, or you guys could be saying six six six, or they just. I don't know. This person is very lighthearted. They have a. They have lighthearted energy. They're very fun. They're very. But they're very mature. That are very stable. Okay, but uh, yeah, it's because it's a breakup. I'm getting some of you guys manifested this damn breakup. You manifested your way out of this person's life. Okay, and I feel like you stood in that power. Yeah, they feel defeated. <laughs> they definitely feel defeated. You, you're not in love with them no more. It's a no. What's the emperor? Okay, too many spirit. What's the um? What's the emperor right here? Okay, the King of Cups. Yeah, it came out with the Emperor. So, yeah, this could be somebody new that, that's coming into your life or something like that. The Emperor with the King of Cups. And then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So, for some of you, this is a masculine that I'm pulling in that was dealing with the karmic. For some of you, it's you that was dealing with this karmic here. What's this Emperor with this King of Cups? Yeah, the lovers. So this is a Gemini energy. This is yo ass. Yeah, you're going into a connection with somebody here. Somebody's repressing. They repress their emotions for you a lot. Ace of Cups is repressed emotions. They're trying to manifest you, but they're doing it in a way where you're not going to know. You, you would think that this person has moved on with their life, but they're not. They're still trying to manifest you here. But I feel like you've given up on them. It's like you surrendered. You let it go. Okay, you've accepted that they've defeated you or whatever the fuck, quote unquote, they they defeated you over there. I feel like you just let them have it. You're just like, okay, cool. You know, um, go ahead and take it. Take whatever the fuck it is that you were trying to get because you're over it. I feel like you're tired. You're worn down. Or oh, this is this person's ass. They're tired. They're worn down. Yeah, this person is, I, I don't know, man. You could have a choice between two, yeah, with the lovers. You have a divine connection here. You have a choice between your, either your twin flame, possibly, or a soulmate energy. And I feel like some of you guys are choosing a soulmate because this person 
And this new soulmate is going to be a divine masculine. They're going to be somebody that's, that's going to fit you right now. They're going to be somebody that's going to come in and do right by you the first fucking time. And I feel like that's what you want anyways. So you can have a choice between two. You have a strong connection with both people. But I feel like you know which one is be better for you than the other. You know? So that's your decision. Okay. Or they had a choice between two and they chose somebody else's ass. It's coming up here. So... So, anywho, what's uh, this King of Wands? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so this King of Wands. Hmm, okay. Yeah, the Six of Wands. So, this King of Wands could be somebody that's definitely very assertive. This person is very... Uh, damn, Gemini, you got options, honey. <laughs> you got options, I'm guessing. Shit. Yeah, you get a lot of attention. For some of you, you do get attention. You're going through a... a a spiritual awakening at this time you're going through a death and rebirth you could be dealing with a scorpio but definitely something is over it's ending um let me see one more for the king of wands with the ace of pentacles okay four of wands oh nine of cups queen of wands oh the star the temperance okay um uh, gemini i feel like your path is being redirected right You could have a choice between two. Whoever this emperor is, I feel like this is your divine masculine, your twin flame. And this king of wands is somebody that's new. This is somebody that you could be moving in with. You could be moving in with this person, building a family life with them, building a home. This could be somebody that's going to get, that wants to propose to you. Okay, this is, could be a marriage. Yeah, this king of cups right here was with this king of queen of cups in reverse. They put you in a third party predicament. This, your twin, they did something to you. They put you in a third party and uh they're manifesting you now they're going through a breakup or something like that they're breaking up with somebody or trying to anyways they call something off with you to go fuck with that other person and now it's backfiring now they want to come back or now they they they're finally surrendering to whatever the fuck but i feel like you moved on with somebody that, that takes action here this person they're coming correct the first damn time and this cycle has closed out with your twin possibly or something like that because they let it close i mean they didn't tell you the truth about what's going on or whatever you know so this could be you meeting people that's in your soul tribe, meeting new people, starting new relationships and all type of shit. You know, I feel like something is stable, is secure, is solid, is trustworthy with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. This is somebody who's going to um, definitely support you in your future, your your business, your future endeavors, anything that you have going on. For some of you, this is a, they're an artist themselves. They're a leader. Okay. They're an entrepreneur or something like that. But, hmm. For some of you, this this person was dealing with the false twin or you were. Something never made sense to you here, I feel like. Something really never made sense to you at all. I feel like you have a story to write about it with love story once upon a time. Yeah, you have something to write about. This is a, a long, drawn-out-ass relationship that's been lasting for a while. And you finally got found the love of your life or the person you want to be with. Now people trying to come back and shit like that. This person, they could be a false twin that, that could be trying to come back and... They really confuse you because shit, I'm confused too. Make sure you go look up what false twins is, false twin flame is. But anywho, what's brainstorming? Yeah, the hangman. What's brainstorming? Oh, shit. Okay, nine of wands flipped upright. What else for brainstorming? Okay, yeah, three of wands, nine of wands, and the hangman. You could be dealing with the Pisces. So I'm definitely getting, you could be in the energy of releasing, or this is this person. Oh, yeah, this is this person trying to figure out how to come back. They're stuck. They don't know how to come back. They could be trying to, because they know that you're releasing them. The hangman, yeah, I feel like they see you from a different perspective now. Now somebody is watching you. They're really trying to come back. Three of wands, you could have moved at a distance from this person. They have no way to get in contact with you, no way to get to you. So I feel like they're a little bit upset. They're like wounded trying to get back to you here. They have no way to do it. They're completely blocked. Okay. Nine of Wands is persevering. Somebody's not giving up though. <laughs> they're not going to give up here, Gemini. They're going to come back and find that ass. They really are. Yeah, Six of Wands, the death card. Yeah, something is over. A lot of you guys are just getting so much attention right now. You have no clue that somebody is trying to come back or you don't, you don't care because you're not going backwards. That's the difference. <laughs> okay, but... 
this could either be you trying to figure out where to move or where to go some of you guys are relocating okay congrats on a new home if you're getting a new home some of you guys could be moving in with this lover of yours with this new lover but for others of you this is a uh, this person they are stuck they're going through an awakening too but they're stuck trying to figure out how to come towards you they want to grow with you they want to expand they want to fix something but uh i didn't know that you're guarded too so they're really trying to figure out how to do it what's the hangman right here 126 on the clock you guys could be seeing those numbers i see them all the time yeah see what i'm saying now the cups in reverse this person they're either a false twin and I feel like you're going to find out when they come back. If you're not sure right now, maybe you're going to find out later. But some of you, they're, they're just stuck with somebody that's emotionally manipulative. Okay, this person is very promiscuous. Okay, if it's not them, it's the person that they're stuck with. Either way, it's no good. You know what I'm saying? Whether they're a false twin or a real one, doesn't matter. They're stuck somewhere or they're stuck in this mentality of like not giving 100% to a connection that they pursue. It's like, bitch, you pursue me. Why the fuck are you giving me a hard time? You know what I'm saying? Like... These type of people, you just got to steer clear from. But the Knight of Cups in Reverse is definitely this person's intuition is blocked, whoever it is. Okay. And it's also emotionally man emotional manipulation as well. Knight of Cups in Reverse is a cheater. It's a con. This person here could be running away, trying to get away from this person to find you and cheat on them with your ass. It's like they need your that energy. And I feel like you're not giving it up. You're not going backwards. But here they come with the lies and deceit and the unrequited love again with the knight of cups in reverse this person is scared to confront you too the knight of cups in reverse is, is scared of confrontation they don't like fighting and shit like that but they cause this bullshit yeah they're scared to confront you with the truth so i, I guess they're just gonna be sitting here waiting trying to see if you come back to them and i feel like you're not what's this nine of wands okay the chariot yeah eight of cups could be dealing with the cancer they at some point i feel like they're going to come back in at some point i just don't know when it could be within a matter of three to nine days <laughs> okay but um i don't know they're still lying about something though you got to watch out for this person because they, they're still a liar to me it's showing up here but uh the chariot is moving for removing yourself from any obstacles or pushing through any obstacles i feel like this person they're watching you walk away. Yeah, Eight of Cups with the Devil, Two of Swords. Oh, Ace of Swords. I didn't even see that. What's this chariot with this Nine of Wands? I feel like somebody's very determined to come towards you. Yeah, Page of Swords. They're going to say something, but I don't feel like it's what you think it's going to be. Like, maybe you're thinking like, oh, okay, this person had enough time to get their shit together and talk to me like they got some fucking sense. But no, this person here, I feel like they're still coming in very flirty, very deceptive or lying about some shit that they caused or whatever this is why the cycle is closed out with the world this person could be very flirty very flirtatious very like uh very sexual with you they don't want a commitment knight of cups in reverse this is a lot of broken promises here what's this three of wands they're trying to figure out how to get to you yeah the death card yeah something is over that's why they're gonna be standing here waiting you could be dealing with the scorpio doesn't have to be, but something is over. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, you cut this person off. Queen of Swords, the Empress. You set boundaries. I feel like you did it in a very mature, loving way. <laughs> you just was very blunt and honest with what it is. And you left this person out on the cold here. Because they kind of like fucked you over. They definitely did. And you moved on to new. You're enjoying your new relationship. Even the ups and downs of it. No relationship is going to be perfect, but... I feel like it's, you have a strong connection with someone and they make you happy. They know how to compromise and work through issues. This person here, they're, they're, y'all not on the same page. Just period. I feel like you transformed. You completely ended something. And I feel like they, they're getting a whiff of it right now. <laughs> okay, what else is coming in for Gemini Spirit? Or what else is in alignment with this reading? Give me one more card. Bottom of, the, bottom of the deck, we have number 36, lost in space, needing direction. Yeah, five, closing door, completion. Yeah, somebody here, they're confused on how to get you back. The universe is in your partner, number 31. Hmm, very interesting. What, can I have one card, Spirit for Gemini? It says number 62, Willow the Wisp, treasures hidden in the shadows. Bottom of the deck is number 28, Hollow Bone, Teachability. Okay, let's see. 
So it says remembering, harmonizing, and resonating. It says there are moments in life when you have a sense of deja vu that you visited this place, these feelings, this person before, and you know that a new opportunity to dance has come around again. Yet there is a haunting quality to this, a melancholy as life's mysterious fragility is also underlined. Like a whale song that pleads for a simple notes to be matched by another, you have a short time to capture this essence and let it resonate in a way that is potentially transformative, but only if you don't turn away. Sometimes you may forget the moments of your humanity, your truest desires, because you become so earthbound and calculating, striving and doing. You're so overstimulated by the chase and what you're exposed to that you forget your heart. Now it's time to jump in the water and play and be reminded of your creative self, your collaborative impulse to sing along, seeking harmony, beauty, purpose, and meaning. At this moment, that is your exact invitation. You will achieve more than the plans you set in motion. If you use this opportunity to explore, be curious, and take a much needed break from what your mind thinks it needs to accomplish, your heart is calling, answer it. Oh shit, y'all, I read the wrong damn thing the whole way through. But this could be a message though. It's called number 61, Whale Song. So you couldn't could have needed that message. Okay, shit, let me get back on track. <laughs> I read the wrong fucking thing the whole time. But obviously, I guess that was a message that needed to be heard. So, okay. So let's see. Willow the Wisp. It says, treasures hidden, treasures hidden in the shadows, the great mystery and epiphany. Okay, shit. It says, Willow the Wisp hoovers in her lumin luminescent glory above the twilight moors of your life whispering for you to step into the fog into the mystery the unknown yeah you may have been vis visited by her before but though intrigued you refuse her invitation it will be safer you decided to remain on the journey you know while you always have a choice as to whether to follow her or not you never know when you might encounter her again in this sense turning away has its own consequences why is the known so appealing it's only when you wake up to its restrictions its soft prison or golden cage that you realize there must be more willow the wisp has come to you once again to offer you magic but you will have to sacrifice certainty in the pursuit of adventure your comfort zone for the dangers of discovery your well-trodden path for the de for the detours that may very well lead you astray or will they oh shit this is scary <laughs> okay um can you accept that losing yourself will bring you closer to your true self the profound shift of a of an epiphany can occur only when you risk the detour and enter the unknown now is the time to trust higher forces to lead you into this place these worlds hidden at the tr the threshold between what was and what can be here is where you will learn about your own unmaking to unmask yourself love what you discover dark or light see it all as divine and find a quiet thrumping I mean, thrumming power, waiting for you to channel it into the world for good. The treasure you find filled with the wealth of love and kindness, true prosperity is right to share with others. She is here for you now. Will you accept her invitation? A great bounty of goodness awaits you. Wow. Oh, I got sneeze. I'm sorry, guys. So bless me. Um, Yeah, you're stepping into the unknown here. Okay, I feel, like, I feel like something is coming back to test you to see if you're going to choose the path that was beh uh, <clears throat> behind you, that betrayed you or whatever the fuck, and if you're going towards new. Okay, I feel like uh, that's what's happening. <laughs> Just period. And it could be scary. You're very scared. But I feel like... Um, oh, shit. What is these? I put these in the wrong deck. I feel like you're understanding... Oh, this is the wrong in the wrong deck. But I feel like you're understanding that the path behind you is not the path that you need to be on. Something just doesn't feel right. It's not aligning. And I feel like you're going to realize that when whoever this is brainstorms their way back into your life, <laughs> okay, you're going to finally realize that you are on the right path or something like that. That something is unhealthy. Yeah, because I feel like you turned your back. You're completely guarded. You, you shifted your perspective. You turned your back here. And you're going towards new. Page of Wands. Yeah, this could be your ass. You could have fire in your chart somewhere. Gemini. But let's see. What else? In uh, regards to the spread here for Gemini. Yeah. You're building for your future. So we have U-turn. <laughs> Changing your mind about where you want to go or be. So definitely somebody is turning their ass back around. This is either you or this person. Then we have black magic. Someone's doing black magic. So that could have been something that happened here. Definitely, yeah, whoever this hoe is over here. They're, I feel like they're spiritual, but they're dark. Okay, what else for Gemini? Um, 
Okay, so we have can't trust them. Yeah, then we have pap smear. Someone needs to get checked. Okay. Because somebody here is they get around or something like that. <laughs> okay, stubborn. This person is stuck in their ways. It says second chances. Someone's getting a second chance. So for some of you, you're giving somebody a second chance here. You are, because maybe you really love this person. You don't want nobody else but this person. It could be your twin that you just, I don't know, you you love them. But just be mindful, okay? Just be mindful. It says karma. You or their time has come. Hmm. It says spiritual narcissist. Yeah, so this person is getting karma. The spiritual narcissist over here. Yeah, then we have forgiveness. So somebody here wants your forgiveness. It says insatiable female, never satisfied, always wanting more. Then we have a hot mess, always crying. It has something going on. Yeah, this person is overly sensitive. They're overly burdened. They're stressed. They're fighting and shit. <clears throat> I feel like they're having outbursts and all type of shit. Then we have fake news. So somebody here knows that someone is fake and they're crying because they just need this person's support, their stability. They don't want anything else but that. So what's this U-turn card? Okay, it says fancy living. Someone, someone's used to living the good life. So whoever this is is making a U-turn is the user. Could be this queen of cups, this karmic energy that could be doing like turning around to go fuck with this person or whatever. And they have a choice to make if they want to go back to that shit or not. <laughs> you know, but this could be somebody that's coming back to you that's very superficial as well, Gemini. It doesn't have to be a third party, but it could be for some of you. What is this spiritual narcissist card? Okay, wake up. Someone's about to receive a rude awakening. Yeah, it's karma. <laughs> Definitely karma. What is this pap smear card? Okay, set up. Someone's being set up. So somebody could have set someone up with the damn STD is what I'm hearing. This person was went back to somebody else and could have gotten an STD from this person or whatever the fuck. But it was definitely a setup. Or they could have said that you, this person, this karmic could have said that you gave them an STD. <laughs> but it was really them. This person shouldn't have been sleeping around any fucking way. Your person, they shouldn't have been fucking off. So, hmm. what is insatiable female? Burnout, yeah. They ass is going through it. Yep. What is this stubborn stuck in their ways yeah <laughs> making amends resolving a misunderstanding so you and this person you and your person this person wants to come and fix something with you they want to tell you that it was a misunderstanding or whatever the fuck they're scared to confront you here they are but they do want to make amends with you they know that they fucked up what is this fake news okay prideful person yeah so i just feel like they put on a, a persona that's fake they're not really like this <laughs> they're not really just prideful i mean they are prideful they are very egotistical but they that's the issue okay they, they're they're not showing their true authentic self is what i'm trying to say i'm definitely getting somebody here that doesn't take accountability for their actions they just keep going and i feel like they let this shit linger too long they did what is this hot mess always crying it has something going on it says war-minded militant yeah this person this person could have worked in the military or somebody here was in the military before, but I'm just getting, they're very competitive. They're very, they're going to go, go to war about this dick. <laughs> okay. Somebody is going to war about the dick, whoever this person is, or it could be a woman. Okay. That, uh, child, please. I mean, it could be a man that's going to war about some vagina. <laughs> they really try to be in competition with you. What's this, um, child, what's the second chances card? Okay, it says half truths. They're not being fully honest. Yeah, in reverse. They're worried about you judging them. Half truths in reverse. Why is this half truths here in reverse? So I feel like now they know that they, they only have one more time to kind of like come in with some bullshit. Yeah, total eclipse. Two souls merging together. Yeah, you, this person. Yeah, competition. This person knows that they can't tell you the lies anymore. They have to come and tell you the truth. This is the last straw for them. Or you're really moving on. I feel like you already did it. But they they only got one more chance to come back towards you with some bullshit. You're really over it. You don't even look you won't even look at this person the same at all. I feel like you don't already, but it's gonna be even worse. You know? So hmm. This was your reading, Gemini. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you guys won't miss any of my readings from when I post. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.